All right, Bruce, you survived. Thanks for coming. Thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. All right. Hope you guys out there learned something. Yeah, what was the most important thing you learned today? Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of time to get a good workout. Just in a nutshell, how different is this routine so far than what you're doing on your own? Uh, it's extremely different. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Push up, good, keep breathing. One. It's like skydiving with newbies. You don't know where they're gonna go. <laughs> Running out of glycogen. Uh, if you want a little more, maybe a couple core moves. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Let's All, right. Go. All right, good. So we got a couple more things I think we can squeeze into this routine. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right. Okay, so what we threw in a lot of in this routine is a lot of high intensity strength training techniques, and in particular, slowing things way down. In this case, Bruce is going four seconds on the way back and two seconds out. And you can see how much more he's straining. He's recruiting more muscle, more motor units to do the work. And this is very, very important for skydivers in particular. And I'll explain that in more detail in the audio part of the podcast with this video. Coming up next here, this is just a point I want to make about the back. Anytime you do a pull, anytime you do any move, you want to make sure you keep a neutral spine. And here he is now cranking out burpees. These are terrific total body move. And again, it's a lot of this pushing, chest moves, holding the push up, the plank positions, really important for skydivers. Combining that with step ups back and forth. If you just did burpees and step ups back and forth five to 10 times, you'd have yourself a terrific workout. So here he is again, he's going through another round of put or burpees and step ups and you can kind of see he's really starting to fatigue here, he's getting more tired. What we did is we threw in some of these metabolic circuits in combination with the strength moves, the fly that you've already seen and now this is the dumbbell, seated dumbbell press, he's going four seconds on the way down, two seconds on the way up with a slight pause at the bottom pausing at the beginning of the and the ending of the range of motion is also very important because it really helps tax the muscle kills all the momentum as part of the muscles all at the same time so instead of just working one group and then moving out to the next moving out to the next right right especially the shoulders the ball moves here here at the end you're just still thinking about skydiving specific so what we're going to do is an elbow plank on the stability ball Okay, so one of the things Bruce said to me when, he, when we were talking about coming up with a skydiving specific routine was that you're holding this position with your arms outstretched, a lot of isometric work for the chest. We threw in a lot of those strength moves, some in the metabolic circuit, and now we're throwing them in on the stability ball as well so that you're really starting to build some good strength and endurance in those specific movement patterns. Good. Well, thanks again for coming in. Had a good time. Thanks, Leslie.